it's very preliminary data, but it's very encouraging that it can basically halt ALS in its tracks. I'm Chris Goss, head of PDS here in Florence, South Carolina, API site with Thermo Fisher Scientific. Project ALS is the group, and it was it started way back in the early early late 90s. Uh, Jennifer Estes started the company. She was diagnosed with ALS, and uh, but unfortunately, she passed in 2003. But uh, before she passed, she raised 17 million dollars for Project ALS. Her sisters have kind of taken up the cause, and they were able to make essentially ALS in a dish. They were able to basically develop a diagnostic, and so you can test compounds in a dish and see how the how the compounds are interacting with the motor neurons. So it's real fascinating, and and they got they got a good hit. It was a uh, Prosetin's the name of the compound. All of a sudden, it hits the big leagues. They need a kilo. They need to have enough material to really start a true testing program for some some pivotal trials. Many of our clients are small companies, and I, I think there's a, a fear or a perception that Thermo Fisher Scientific is this big company and that their small projects will get lost, but nothing could be further from the truth. Nearly all of our clients are small biotechs, not-for-profits, and that's who we're used to working with, and that's, that's really the, the strength that we bring is that relationship and that perspective of knowing what a program needs to be successful. So the, the project sheet comes in, we've made gram quantities, now we need to make a kilo, uh, and we need, to, we need to get it out quickly. The question was, how in the world are we gonna do this? And we muscled through that first campaign to make the 100 grams. It, it's hard to make a scalable process because if you have small amounts of material, it's a lot easier to purify that. Now, when you're looking at a bag of two kilos, how do you, how do you purify that? How do you make sure it's clean enough? oh, well, why don't we just crash it out as a solid? That way it's not able to react. It is, it is physically removed from the solution and it's no longer available to react and therefore comes out much cleaner and you don't form that impurity. I'm very fortunate. I have a great team of people with whom I work. It's that hope that, that keeps us, that motivates people to come in, to go the extra mile and, and provide that for our patients. If you think back to, to 20, 20, what, what a year it's been. So much going on in everybody's personal lives, but the team th throughout 2020, the entire team came in evenings, weekends, pushing it through. And that's, that's why, it's, it's hope.